Many people say that dogs who live in Whistler are among the luckiest dogs in the world. They have rivers and lakes to swim in, designated lakeside dog beaches where they meet other dogs. They have mountains to climb, trails to run through, and some lucky dogs even accompany their human guardians skiing and on mountain bike rides. There is no doubt that dogs form strong bonds with humans and other dogs, that they are highly social, affectionate animals who require an immense amount of enrichment, physical activity, and mental stimulation. For the most part, the dogs we call our companions are provided with these needs along with the basics of food, water, veterinary care, and shelter from the elements. But not all dogs are this fortunate. In this recently acquired footage from the Caligan Valley, just south of Whistler, sled dogs who work for Blackcomb Dog Sled appear to languish in a dirt yard, attached to chains or trapped in cages. Many of them exhibit signs of stereotypy, the persistent repetition of an act especially by an animal for no obvious purpose, and often seen in captive animals. The dog sled industry is notorious for not meeting all the needs of their dogs, who are often left tied up and bored when they aren't working. The footage you've just seen was all taken near Whistler, and we believe that this facility is operated by Blackcomb Dog Sled. But this treatment is representative of the entire dog sledding industry. Recent news stories, documentaries, and footage taken by animal advocacy groups has exposed a side of the industry that they don't want you to see, such as this operation in Canmore, Alberta. People who use animals to make money need the public to think that they treat their animals well. This needs to happen in order for their business to continue. But any time we look behind the parts of the industry that they want us to see, this is what we find. Whether animals are being used for food, for entertainment, for transportation, as decorations, we can never trust anyone who sees an animal as a commodity to ever treat that animal with respect. We are asking you to boycott businesses that exploit animals for profit.